What's up, guys? It is your boy Bernardo from the BTNHD. And if this is your first time checking me out, make sure to hit that subscribe button to get the latest and greatest on tech videos. And today is all about this guy right here, Extra PC, which is supposed to bring new life to old and dead computers. Now, the whole concept of this flash drive right here uh, is to boot into it. Uh, the primary operating system is a Linux distro. It's a lightweight Linux distro with basics. Uh, it allows you to go online, uh, Firefox, Libra, Office, and all that other good stuff. Now, I started scratching my head a little bit about this uh, product because the device itself looks like a SanDisk flash drive, right? But when you go to the site, and you kind of realize how much are they charging for this this little guy right here they're charging 80 bucks for this guy 80 dollars a 64 gig flash drive and an operating system that allows you to boot into it and use it like it's a computer you're able to save stuff into it with no problem but 80 bucks that's nuts so i started investigating even more on the device and their logo is stickers covered by the stickers they're covering the sandisk logo right and then if you go in the back this is the same thing look at this it's just a sticker this is crazy it's a sticker 64 gigs cruise glide right here that's it so i want to see how much will a sandisk Sandisk Cruiser Glide, 64 gigs, and they're saying 3.0. That's that's what the thing says. This guy says 3.0. And I could get this guy, 64 gigs, for $16.99. So, that's a lot of money. 80 bucks for this little guy. And I guarantee you, you're able to create this yourself. You're able to get a free Linux distro operating system, install it inside a flash drive and boot into it. All right. So I'm going to show you guys what this, this little dude do for 80 bucks. So I have a netbook right now. The netbook has about one gigs of memory. Uh, it has a Intel Atom processor with a clock speed of 1.66 uh, gigahertz. It's, it's a netbook. It's, it's eh, slow, right? So I'm going to... Put it inside the USB, right? I want to power it on, and I'm gonna press F12. They do give you a nice little card right here indicating each model. Like if you got a Compaq or Dell or HP, IBM, it tells you what button to press to boot inside the flash drive. Um, the the only thing they don't tell you is not all computers are configured to boot or to locate a USB to boot into it. So that means you got to go inside BIOS and configure that enable that right i think dell you have to configure that so one of the options is usb hdd sandisk off the bat sandisk right so i'm gonna hit enter to start it up and the first time that you use it it's going to want you to enter a password that's the password that will allow you to log into the account now the way that's configured is it's automatically going to shoot you into the desktop and again, it's a Linux operating system, a lightweight Linux operating system that the only thing that did was they customized the bootloader to have their, you know, the image to say extra PC. Their wallpaper says extra PC. The start menu, extra PC logo. So they just customize it on their own way. But the Linux operating system is free. Anyone is capable of doing this with no problem. Why would you want to spend 80 bucks on this if I could purchase that same USB for $16 in Newegg? 16 bucks. That is not that bad. $16. Right? And but they they're advertising that it is a 3.0. And Amazon, let's check out Amazon. Amazon right now, how much how much is Amazon selling it? 19.99. 20 bucks. So it really depends on where you get it, right? Different prices, different places, right? And this guy right here, this is a, I think this is a San, SanDisk Cruiser. You can get these for 10 bucks. This is ridiculous. 
I mean, it, it's, it's a cool little tool to have, but I really feel like it's just too expensive. I'm not going to spend 80 bucks for a flash drive that I could get under 20 bucks. And plus, I have so many choices out in the market for Linux operating systems, distros. You know what I mean? You got Ubuntu, Gentoo, um, Linux Mint. Uh, what is it? Uh, there's a bunch of other ones. Uh, Puppy. I think there's a Puppy or there's, a, wow, there's a lot of them. So let's look up. So let's do Linux distro. There's a lot of them. Look, Ubuntu, Arc Linux. Oh my God. There's so many of them. I cannot believe there's so many of them. There's a lot of them. And this company is charging you 80 bucks for a flash drive and a Linux operating system that you could basically take some time, do some research and create your own bootable uh, OS flash drive less than 20 bucks. It's just, it's mind blowing. Seriously. Uh, my review and my honest review of this product is, it's too expensive. I think it's a joke. Uh, I really feel like you could purchase a flash drive. Again, like I showed you guys, a 64 gig, the same, same model, same everything. The only difference is it just has there a sticker logo covering the Sandisk. You could purchase this guy for 16 bucks, a new egg. Get an operating system, get a Linux open source operating system, and then you're able to install it on the flash drive and then boot inside that flash drive for less than 20 bucks. Why in the hell do I want to spend 80 bucks for that? I don't know. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this honest review of the extra PC. If you have any comments or concerns, leave them at the bottom. Don't forget about hitting that like button and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.